everybody welcome to another edition of wade watches i'm wade and today i'm going to be reviewing friday from 1995 directed by f gary gray and starring ice cube and chris tucker so this is another yet another movie just like just like with with uh, Fruitvale Station, this is another one that I'm just now seeing for the first time. I know, you know, huge <laughs> surprise. I, I, you know, this is uh, what what uh, we this is what one would call a certified hood classic because it takes you know a, a movie that takes place in the hood and um, it's it's I'd say um, off the top of my head, it's widely deemed as one of four total quintessential hood classics that I can think of off the top of my head. At least that's how I see it. But uh, yeah, I know it's crazy, but this is my very first time ever watching the iconic comedy Friday. Um, I really have the uh, boondocks to thank for uh, introducing me to this movie because, of course, um, Regina King and John Witherspoon, who are both in this film, uh, do the voice acting for, well, formerly did because, uh, unfortunately, John Witherspoon uh, passed away. Uh, he did the voice acting for Graham Dad and Regina King, uh, the, the, the uh, voices for both Huey and Riley. And the series itself, of, you know, of course, has several meta references to this film. So really, it was uh, the boondocks that uh, introduced me to this movie. And um, so, yeah, having finally having finally watched it for myself, um, I, I have to say right off the bat, this being a comedy, it was funny. I wouldn't say it's uh, a comedy that I was like, I almost like, you know, busted a gut laughing at it or, you know, it got... I, I laughed so hard till I cried. I didn't do that, but I, I laughed uh, plenty of times <laughs> watching this. There are some um, funny moments. I think one of the one of the like reoccurring gags that I found that I was actually kind of cracking up at um, over was um, Debo's Debo's like little theme music every time he was he was coming up on the screen. He's you know he's the bully of the movie. And his he has this like Jaws like theme every time he shows up. That for some reason that was that was pretty funny to me. So yeah, um, with, when it comes to comedies, I would say I'm uh, rather selective. I don't really go, I don't really go for like a lot of potty humor, or easy like sex jokes, like j basically like the easy crash stuff is not something I normally go for. Uh, when it's done well, it can be funny, but it's not something that's like, oh, that guy, oh, that guy, you know, took a, you know, that guy pooped, that's funny. Like, that's, that's not really my style. And um, Friday does have a lot of that humor. There are two jokes involving straight up, involving straight up feces. And that kind of stuff, again, not really my style. But other than that, there are some pretty funny things in here. So enough of that. Enough of that. Um, I found it I found it funny, but I, but I didn't find it hilarious. So moving on, um, I'm sure most of you know this already, so I won't spend too much time reciting the plot. This is yet another uh, day in the life movie, just like Fruitvale Station, except it's uh, much more lighthearted than that. Um, and it centers around Craig, played by Ice Cube, and his friend Smokey, played by Chris Tucker. And they they basically, you know, Craig, who uh, was fired, he says, what, the day before, he was fired uh, the day before Friday, um, you know, just decides to uh, hang out with his friend uh, Smokey, who is determined to uh, get him high because uh, Smokey, Smokey enjoys smoking weed. And that's kind of how it starts out, but then um, some other things happen. Uh, the day gets the day gets more interesting, and the day gets potent even even more like even even more so. The day becomes potentially dangerous as uh, something that a uh, Smokey is involved in comes to light, and now the two are kind of stuck in a, a situation that they only have a finite amount of time to get out of. They only have the end of the day to deal with this thing or else they're in really big trouble. And that's pretty much the plot synopsis. Like I said, a day in the life. Um, yeah, I'd say like really good chunk, like the first half of this movie, uh, first, I'd say the first act and a half of this movie is just kind of the two of them kind of goofing around, kind of just getting into like, you know, sort of low stakes shenanigans. And then 
closer to the end. It's, this movie's very short. It's only 90 minutes. Um, the stakes are raised. Excuse me. Some serious stuff starts to go down. And for me personally, that's when it really 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 got interesting don't get me wrong there's still some stuff and it was it was kind of it was there's was, there were a lot of funny moments but um you know i i did it's not like but i mean but gut burstingly hilarious but there were still some funny moments but it's real for me the movie got interesting when um the drama kicked in basically that's when i was like oh oh wow how are they gonna get out of this but this movie's not perfect, you know? Um, it's not, like, executed flawlessly. It's not, you know, one of my new favorite comedies or anything like that. And I pegged that for, you know, I I basically, I would attribute that, that to basically kind of the conflicting tones. Um, so this is widely viewed as, like, a straight-up comedy. And I think I would respectfully disagree and say that this is really more of a dark comedy than anything. I mean, look at where it takes place. It takes place in South Central LA. It takes place in the hood. Um, it deals with uh, drug dealers, gang members. So it's not, in my opinion, it's not really a straight up comedy. Um, uh, it's, I guess you could say it's like mostly comedic. It's not really, it's not on the same level as a Fruitvale Station or something like Boys in the Hood or Menace to Society. Obviously not, it is not a straight up drama, but um, I would definitely say it's more of a dark comedy, at least in my opinion. Um, and yeah, like the most engaging element, the most engaging thing about this movie for me personally was the dramatic, kind of the dramatic arc that kind of that kind of kicks up when uh, it's revealed, like, more about what the mess that Smokey got himself into is revealed, and um, he kind of in a, he kind of inadvertently gets Craig involved in this mess, and now they both got to deal with this. That was the most interesting part of the movie to me. And even, even with that, um, some things could have been done slightly better, in my opinion. So... Um, the, one of there are two main antagonists in this movie. One one of the antagonists, Debo, who I mentioned earlier, he's more or less he's he's pretty you know threatening and intimidating. Um, not super imposing, but he's pretty threatening. But the other threat, which is this um you know this drug dealer that the duo are dealing with, and what was his name? Big like big big worm big worm that was his name. Um. I never really found him all that imposing. Like he drives around in what looked like an ice cream truck. He has like curlers in his hair. Um, and I, I, I mentioned that because he threatens to do something pretty serious to our two heroes. If they, if they, um, you know, don't, if they don't do something at a certain at a certain time and he gives them a limited amount of time to do this but he never just he never came off as threatening or imposing and i i think that that character could have been written a bit more seriously like he could have been the straight man to you know kind of the he could have been the straight man in all of this, like the straight up man, because he's presented as the biggest threat in the movie. And there's even um, uh, there's even a sequence near the end that demonstrates that this guy's not fooling around, that he's not just, you know, he's not full of hot air. He's serious. He wants the he wants um, what's coming to him soon. And if the two of them, if uh, Craig and Smokey don't deliver on it, they're, you know, they're in big trouble. Uh, so that was just kind of... Um, something that i couldn't help but uh point out um that you know big worm who's supposed to be this big antagonist wasn't really all that threatening whereas debo was actually a pretty physically imposing and intimidating guy except you know uh excluding his theme music which i i found funny <laughs> but uh yeah um so wrapping it up i don't really have much more to say on friday about friday um you know, it, it's it was funny, not hilarious. It did get a few laughs out of me. Um, uh, solid performances by um, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, who are more or less carrying this movie. There are other there are other uh, familiar faces in this movie, like Nia Long, Regina King, John Witherspoon, Bernie Mac uh, has a <laughs> uh, cameo as a preacher. 
and um, a lot of other familiar faces that I, whose names that uh, escape me at the moment. Like I even recognize the guy playing uh, Debo. I think he was in the uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in the Dark Knight, but I don't know his name off the top of my head. So uh, yeah, you know, everybody did a good job. I wouldn't say there was, you know, somebody who was a bad actor. And again, a lot of laughs. You know, the Friday is definitely first and foremost a comedy, and it's pretty funny. But I, I just don't find it as uh, hilarious as I'm sure many, many others do. And that's just that's just me. Um, I, I I'm selective with comedies. I admit it. But uh, all that being said, um, the, the thing that stuck with me the most with it was like, you know, the serious story when things get serious and intense. That was my favorite part. And there's especially like there's this fight near the end that I was like, yeah, you know, you know, stick it to him, stick it to him, you know, because, you know, I love I love seeing uh, bullies get their come up in some movies. So that was well handled. But the funny stuff, you know, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was all right. You know, um, I laughed, <laughs> but I, I just didn't, you know, laugh until I was in tears. So that being said, wrapping it up, I'm going to give Friday a seven out of 10. I, you know, I, I know I just broke, you know, a lot of people's hearts out there or made a lot of people mad, but it's my opinion. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm um, pretty funny. I'm um, just not hilarious. And that's all right. You know, I don't need everything to be gut bustingly hilarious. I'm glad I, ch I checked it out. Um, I will probably rewatch it somewhere later on down the road and maybe I'll change my mind on it. Maybe not, but I'm glad I finally found time to watch Friday for the first time. I did enjoy myself watching it. So yep, seven out of 10 for F Gary Gray's and Ice Cube's Friday. This has been Wade Watches with another Black Movies Matter, Black History Month review, and I will see you all next time.